and welcome to the videos for the July round of the Hilltop Cloud Non-Wall Club. Um, these are just some very quick filled videos that I film each month as to give you an idea about how to spin the fibres that are included in the Non-Wall Club parcels and what they're like as characteristics. We're going to start off with Tussa Silk, um, which is a slightly toothier um, version than Mulberry Silk. It's got a long staple length, so that's just pulled straight off the end of the piece of comb top, but it's slightly more textured and slightly more, more grippy than mulberry silk. As I've said before, I'm a fan of spinning silk for knitting straight from the end of the piece of comb top. Remember, the staple length is very long, so you need to be having a very relaxed grip on your fibres force so that you're not trying to pull both ends of that same staple length. So even though it looks like my hands are quite close together here, these front fingers aren't actually doing anything. The place that I'm gripping is all the way back there with my little finger against the palm of my hand. Um, if you grip with your front hat fingers, you'll need to have your hands much further away so that you're not trying to pull on both ends of the same staple length. If you find that this fibre is tending to get away from you a bit and you're struggling with the drafting technique, by all means, Pull off a chunk, bend it over your forefinger so that you've got a sandwich of fibre held between your thumb and your middle finger and what you can then do is you can then spin from the fold and you can do that with a short forward draw. And that might give you a feeling of a little bit more control or you can do it with more of a long draw technique. This makes the blend ever so slightly more textured so you end up with a yarn it's a little bit hairier, a little bit fluffier, doesn't quite maximise the shine in quite the same way. How much you apply it is entirely up to you. Some people like lots and lots of twist and then use lots of lots of plying twist. I like a slightly softer silk yarn. That's probably could do with fractionally more twist to hold it together, otherwise it's gonna to start to pill a little bit more. But you can always add slightly more twist in the plying stage and just tighten it up ever so slightly. It won't affect the balance too badly. 